what if you are given with the such kind of web application or a web page where you have a large number of items on your page and you want to achieve a common objective on the click of each button for example i have this web page where we have a shopping kind of a products and whenever the user clicks on the add to cart button the corresponding product should add to the cart so if you are asked to achieve a sort of functionality then you will probably say that i could just attach a event listener on this add to cart button and this will achieve the desired functionality well this approach makes sense but what about the complexity of this kind of approach if you have a large number of products on your web page then this kind of approach will make your web application really very slow so in this video we are going to talk about a optimization technique where in this kind of a scenario we can use only a single event listener to do such kind of tasks so just stay tuned to the video to learn about the event bubbling in JavaScript. So what happens in event bubbling is that like whenever you click on any child element, that event is bubbled up to the parent. Now, what does it mean? For example, if you see the structure of my this web page where I have a, this div of class parent and then I have a corresponding parent like each product here is represented as a class product and all the products are contained in a single parent. So if someone clicks on this add to cart button, this event like this event of on click will eventually bubble up to the parent. That is this event will also take place on the parent class that is if you attach an event listener or on click of this button here this will also be the on click of your parent that is also of the product and also of the parent so what we can do here in such kind of scenario we can just use a single event listener on the parent and then just can track the event dot target to grab like which specific child is selected so what I will do here, like instead of adding an event listener to this on click of a button, I will add an event listener to this parent here, where in the parent I can write on click and on the on click, I want to execute a function called add to cart. So I'll write here add to cart. And now we can just create this add to cart in the script JS file. So I'll just head to script JS file, remove the existing code here. I will just create a function called add to cart. So yeah, this function will execute whenever we click on any product or anywhere in the div. So if we log to the console, like clicked and save the program. And if we open the console here and add to other console. So you will see here, like if I click on add to cart, the click will be printed to the console. Even we have not attached a click listener to this child here this event is getting bubbled up and received by the parent and now parent we have a class of parent here of this class parent here and this class parent is having an event listener of add to cart so this function is getting executed so this is how you can achieve a event bubbling now you might be want to use a specific data depending upon the child which is click if you click on any child you will have a same kind of output now you just want to know like which particular child is clicked like uh, you might be using a id of the product and depending upon the id of product you can uh, make a api calls or whatever you want to do but you just want to know like which specific child is clicked right so what we can do here we can know the target like uh, cons target equals like e dot target so e dot target will tell us like which specific child is clicked but since we are clicking on a button so it will always give us a button so now from this button if you go to parent and search for any specific child like i want to search for the p tag which is the text here so what i can do from this target i can search for a parent node and from the parent node i can make a query selector right so like for example if you see the structure here this is our button and like button the parent of the button is this class product and this class product we can make a query selector on this p paragraph here so this will eventually give us the text which is used for that particular product like if we go to script js like we have target here from the target we want to get the corresponding p tag so how can we do that like const i'll call it 
basically product name i'll call it p name so p name is like target dot parent node so parent node will give us the access to the product class and parent node we can make a query selector here we can make a query selector and search for p tag inside that product so whatever product we are selecting we are going to that parent and from the parent we are again going back to the query selector of p so eventually we receive the p tag which is containing a name of the product so p dot inner html you can call to grab the name and if we log this value to the console p name oh i have capitalized it so i'll call it p name if i save the program so if i click on add to card you will see okay we have an error here a target of undefined oh actually we are using e here but we haven't passed the event object so we can just go back here and from the add to card we can pass the event argument here so this will eventually pass the event so now if i save the program and click on add to card you will see product one on the console and if i clicked on second product you will see product two on the console so this is how you can use event bubbling to optimize your code and using a single event listener will definitely improve the performance of your web page uh, so you should try to use this concept in in your application like wherever you think you can write it and uh, it is also asked in many javascript based interview questions so you should understand it properly if you have any issue with the program please let me know in the comments and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do subscribe to the channel meanwhile take care see you soon